Yeah, so I came all over her face yesterday. Barbecue sauce on my titties. Welcome to the podcast, everyone. This is Lettuce and Mac. Mac and Lettuce, back at it again, episode two, week two. Uh, thank you to everyone who listened last week and this week. Um, and next week. And the week after that until we die. God. <laughs> What's up, dude? How are you? I'm lovely. Living the dream. We uh, didn't just spend a while we, in the stewed. Yeah, we were just, you know, cooking up in the stew. Uh, everyone, the stew? I thought it was the stewed. No, I say stew. Oh, uh, well, I said stew. Cooking up, stewed? Did you not see my Snapchat story? No, I did. I just forgot. Cooking up in the stew. I can't, um, I can't read. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, uh, I just want to say before we get started, uh, along with a thanks, um, I really didn't think we were going to get that many plays. Like, to be honest, like, listens to the podcast. It wasn't, like, that many, obviously, but it was more than I thought for some reason. I don't know, because we, even though we shared it on our socials, I guess I only shared it on Twitter, but... I shared it. You did. More people than I thought would listen to it, so, I mean, I appreciate all of you, if you guys are still tuning in week two. Oh, geez. We got a lot of good stuff cooking. Oh, um, yeah, there's, there's actually... We were close to another breakthrough today. Yeah, we were yeah. close in the we, stew. Yeah, we. But we you got a f- still a few things to work on. We don't want to half cock and blow. What? What <laughs> <laughs> was that? We, we don't want to half cock and blow. You know, we don't want to go off half cock. Just uh, an unfinished product. You know, like I we want to. We want to make sure that, that along with the half we're... cock, I assume you mean like a soft penis. Like that's the. <laughs> An atom- anatomical term, I'm assuming? Yeah, mm-hmm. no, okay. we're, we're soft penis. Yeah. You know, so, so for we, sure. we kind of went soft penis into today. Uh, we, you know, we're, we're trying new things. I just want to say, we got we, we got some big stuff coming. Oh, the, for sure. In the coming uh, coming days, weeks, Months. centuries, I don't know. Dude, if we're around for another century, Kill me. honest, no, 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 like, as far as our... Personality or something. I don't know. Our souls. Yeah. Do souls live that long? Ask Elon. <laughs> Call back to episode uh, one. Episode Ask one. Elon. I guess you guys have to go back to listen to episode one if you don't get that. Uh, get more plays. For episode one. All right. Well, let's let's calm that down. Okay. Um. So. Yes. Sincerely, from both of us here, I know we kind of again got off topic. Thank you. Actually, uh, we appreciate you. And we can't wait to hopefully deliver on much more entertaining moments, times, and in stuff in the future. Yeah, from the bottom of my balls, I appreciate all of you. Um, and as much as I, you know, fuck around and doobity dooby, you know, around in the stew, uh, I do want to say thank you. And uh, yeah, <clears throat> cool. All right, so. And can we just get into it? Because I'm really, I'm really excited go for to go. It. Okay, go so, for it. so, uh, I mean, at least in in the world of what's been going on recently, yes. we, we've been it's gaming topics. Okay. Okay. Did you see? So, have you played the new Fortnite update yet? Nope. You have not. Okay. Nope. Um, I spent yesterday playing Call of Duty. Oh, we were supposed to play together. We. <laughs> you, yeah. You we, were downloading. Yeah, you were downloading dude, the update. It was too big. It was, I think, 25 gigs. I want to say. Something like that? Something like that. So, yeah, I was just playing uh, Modern Warfare with Michael. Shout out, Michael. Uh, wow. Already? We're not yeah. even four minutes in and you shout out. Okay, well, we, I killed it at least. I mean, he's, he didn't play very well. Does he have a mic yet? He did. No, he did. He had a mic. Oh, that's great. Like, it, it was probably, it was just probably just headphones, but. Mm-hmm. Oh, we should, honestly, okay, we're going to go off on a tangent here. We go should. Ahead. We should like preface the episode by saying that we actually have equipment now. Oh yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah no. we have this, real things. Like this is, I'm actually using a mic. Andrew has a headset on, so he's back relaxed in the chair now. He doesn't yeah. have to lean up against the desk. We got yeah. a mixer, so we can, you know, both do whatever. Yes, it's it's relaxed. And you know, gone are the days of just setting Kyle's headset on the desk and we having one to day. lean forward. One day we. Like I said, we got big things cooking in yeah. the stew, and this is just you know the start of that. Oh, for sure. For Shout sure. out Amazon, by the way. Uh, 
big shout out. Dude, dude. I, can I tell you something? Yes, it's a podcast. I got Amazon Prime just so that the equipment would get here on time. Wow. Like, I did my free trial. You can't let me forget to get to that. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, Amazon, but until you sponsor the podcast, I can't. Hey, hey. Yeah, I can't. That'd be pretty cool. No, I, my, 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 like, I got Spotify Premium. I don't even know why. Did you say Spotify Premium? Nope. Uh, Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime. There we go. Sorry, my computer made a noise. I should mute that. Uh, Amazon Prime. Yep. He, he got that a few months ago to mm-hmm. send stuff to my brother and Callie. So, oh, okay. Yeah. Um, no, I just use it. I got this stuff two days. Mm-hmm. Two days flat. Where's your brother in Cali? San Francisco. Okay. I'll just say that. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I knew I knew he was like. Yeah. In San. Okay. Yeah. He's just, you yeah. helped him move. Yes, I was out there. Yeah. You went out there. It was. I've never been to San Francisco, so because we went to San Diego, or a year ago. Yeah. Like it was a year and a month ago. Mm-hmm. We went. And, uh, Together. That was the, with no one else. Yep, just me and him. Little date mm-hmm. night. Date, yeah. Date weekend. I mean, we were on top of that. There was a rooftop bar. Exactly. Oh uh, yeah, there was a video. Yeah. Yes. What was the place? That what was the name of that place? Rooftop bar. I have no idea. I'll I'll find it. Go go on with your story. Um, did I have a story? Oh yeah. So that was my first time ever being in California. When um, we went to San Diego, you mean? Yes. Yeah, so when yeah. we went to San Diego, um, that was when. Uh, shout out, uh, Brandon Lester. Because he actually was there. It wasn't just me and Andrew. Mo Lester. Oh, yeah. I forgot that we were going with that bit. Um, <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, Brandon was there. Um, shout out. Uh, the Mo Nolan. Lester. The Nolan. The Nolan. That's what that rooftop bar was called. That doesn't sound right, but I'll, whatever. We'll add it to, we'll add it to the link, though. Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Um, I was out there. Fun time. It's nicer out there than here, obviously. You know, I, I heard the other day that San Francisco is the highest has the highest cost of living of any city in the United States. Yes, that's I think more than New York. Probably. How? Why? Why? I don't know. It's, What's in San Diego? Dude, California meant, is can't. fucked. Oh, okay. Just like in general. No offense, to anyone who listens in California. Ever. Um, but I mean, dude, I really liked it when we went there. No, we we went all over California. I mean. San, San Diego. Joshua is, Tree. That's, that was a long drive. San Diego is the southern, southernmost. And then we California. went. Where's? We uh, Do we go we east from east. there? We went straight east. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We like almost were in some other state. I don't know what else is over there. Like, like New Mexico Nevada. or some shit. Oh. I don't know. But we were over there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Um. Yeah, yeah. Back on topic. Sure. Topics. We have topics. Mm. Yeah. Fortnite. Topic I, I played it. Oh my Kyle God. Mack. Well. Dude, it was fun. It's fun. I like it. They added. It's a secret agent theme. I don't get that. Just bring back planes, and everyone's happy. Literally. Maybe. I mean, that's Brandon wants it too. So that's two people okay. literally today that. Brandon only wants it because he he, he could fly. He doesn't do anything. Like he's not good. Dude. Okay. Day one, Lancers one 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 four and I. Got two dubs in duos. You got two dubs, and okay. he was just well, in the lot. No, actually, dude, he played well yesterday. He really did. Kills total? I think in one game he actually had maybe three to five kills. Oh, wow. Which is good for him. That is good for him. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I have yet to play, like like I said. Um, to be honest, I... We'll get some games. We'll I get some games really for sure. I play ever. We'll get some games. Um, yeah, I'm not going to play, actually. You can't I'm say that. You know that you're going to. How are you going? What are you going to talk about on the podcast if you don't play? I don't know. Call of Duty FIFA, my FIFA Ultimate Team. All right. That I mentioned that in the last podcast. I realized and just didn't talk about it again. It's fine. But, I mean, nobody likes FIFA anyway. Shut the fuck up. I'm right, kidding. Um, I like FIFA. FIFA, no. I love you. So, um, no. Okay. Fortnite. I will play Fortnite eventually. No, I know you. Will. We'll get some games. You like, just had to download it yesterday. That's. I don't know. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, that pisses me off. So. I don't know. Like that was. I was uh, traveling this past week, so I that was. I literally started. I think I streamed Tuesday once, and then Thursday, when the and I made time on Thursday to stream only because the new season came out. That was it. So I I have been a little bit out of touch with the gaming world. Uh, yeah, recently. What's up? What's Ninja saying about it? I have no idea. I literally, I, I have not followed anything, really. Ninja is the pulse of gamers, so. 
Yeah, Doctor Disrespect's up there too, I would say. A couple of people, like, you know. I like, like Doctor Disrespect more than Ninja, so. That's fair. Ninja's just a cringy old man. Wow. I wouldn't say he's that old. Yeah, he's he not. Does, he, he looks like he's 12, I guess, so. I mean, I don't know if I would. Sure, yeah. He looks yeah. like he's 12, yeah. I guess. Yeah. That hair, though. I mean, yeah. It's nice hair. I do wish I had that hair. It, it's really nice hair. <laughs> yeah. No, but. <laughs> Like I honestly haven't heard anything about about it besides what you said. So yeah. Um. Okay. Uh, a little bit of controversy. We're gonna go into the controversy. What the fuck? How the fuck did you just say that? Controversy, but it, I feel like that's how that's how British people would be saying it. It's that's a bit of controversy not. in the kingdom, the United Kingdom, this week. Did you watch not. United Chelsea? We're not using this voice. All right, fine. I mean, it could be fun. I like a little panhandle voice down here. Okay, for I'm all... I'm from Texas. So, that's actually my drunk personality, though. Yeehaw. You know that. Yep, Austin. You know that that's my drunk personality. Austin. Oh, yeah, his name is Austin. You're right. I thought <laughs> you were just saying Austin. Austin, Texas, because you were in a southern accent. Yeehaw! Yeehaw. But no, uh, Chelsea versus Man United. Uh, they did play soccer. V-A-R. VAR. <laughs> is a Spanish verb. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you're right. You know I what? Right, you yeah. are right. What is, do you know what it means? I know ver means to see. That's not var though. Video assistant referee. Okay, I'm, okay. <laughs> just in England, I know what it means. Oh, oh man. man. Um, so VAR, I guess, screwed Chelsea twice. I didn't actually fully watch the match. I saw no, no, what I'm... needed to be seen. Pulled back a goal for Chelsea and Harry Maguire. Mate, what were you doing? He should have had a red card. Harry Maguire looks like a combination of Zach Galifianakis and... A caveman? <sighs> I guess Al- Zach Galifianakis kind of fulfills the role of caveman in that comparison. <sighs> Zach Galifianakis and, like, fucking Yoda. I don't know. I feel like he looks like uh, Steve from Minecraft. He's got, like, kind of a blockhead a little bit. <laughs> you, you know, know? He, does. <laughs> he, he, he really does. He looks like a Minecraft he, character. Yeah, he, he does. He plays like a Minecraft character. Just... <laughs> just I mean... Bro, dude, Let's no, he, he straight up tried to kick... I, I forget who the Chelsea player was. It's been so long. But he Doesn't straight matter. up just tried to kick him. He literally basically almost kicked him in the nuts. I mean, also, headline, another just flipping straight into it, saw a headline, there was a soccer player... That was ejected for biting another player's penis. That did you see that? That's how I would like to get ejected from any game, anywhere. We've already talked Sorry. about blowing cock. Sorry, what? What are we talking about? You wanna you wanna bite a, a dude's dick? Let's no, no no let's hard stop this. Okay, I just wanna like <clears throat> it'd be cool to see just what happens. Does do you bleed out of your dick? Like is that a thing? I'm yeah I'm sure I'm sure if your dick was punctured in any way. Did he just bite it, or did he bite it off? He didn't... Okay, I don't know for sure, but I'm going to go ahead and assume that he did not bite it off. Dude, imagine someone biting a dick off. In in a soccer match. I don't want to imagine that. His dick is just laying on the ground. Ew. Like, you can just see the head of his penis just, like, Mm -hmm. on the ground. (coughs) That's what I was looking for. (laughs) (laughs) Because then... If he does bleed, it look, he just looks like he's having he's having a period out of his fucking penis. <laughs> okay, that How was we already devolved straight to bleeding out. Of Dude, <laughs> imagine that. No, why? There's, pro- there's actually to. probably like some porn that. Do you like think? That. Dude, I bet Pornhub already came up last episode, didn't it? I love Pornhub. Oh no! So, uh, I was I I jerked off. I think it was two nights ago. Not not last night. It was two nights ago. And listen, uh, I, I, I did would you love... look for our podcast on Pornhub when you did it? Uh, I'm working on getting it approved on there. But anyway, oh, okay. actually, you okay. don't need to get it approved on there because they just put whatever they like. If it if our podcast doesn't get approved on there and some of the stuff I've watched is on there, then I think there's something wrong. But yeah, so not last night, but the night before. How do you feel about uh, stepsister porn? Rate it okay, zero I don't to have three. a stepsister, but rate what? Rate it zero to three. Zero to three? That's a weird rating system. Okay, well, it's effective. Is it? So, just so like, like, if I was taking a test, interested, 
uh, neutral or not interested. Like sure. One, two, three. Yeah. I would go neutral. I mean, okay. like I can see how people would be turned on by that or whatever. Okay, so. I, like, I'm not going to lie. I've, it's happened before. Like, I've seen the videos. Yeah. But like. I had a stepsister. It's happened before. I'm just kidding. Oh, I was, <laughs> I literally, I literally just gave him the weirdest, I was like, dude, no. what? Okay, so, like, I know people, like, are like, dude, that is disgusting that you would like that, because it's incest, but it's not, okay? Okay. Okay, so, I'm just, pic- like, I'm picturing this. My parents, just say, like, my mom was, like, 45, and she, my parents got divorced, and then. She married someone else, and the daughter was like, how old am I, 23 now? So the daughter was 22. I've never met her before. She's just a random person. She's not related to me, really. Correct. It's related by marriage. That's the exact way that we're related. Exactly. It'd be like if we fucked. Yeah, which has happened, so it's really not weird. Exactly. So That's why I didn't say it was weird. Dude, I thought we weren't going to bring this up. What are you you doing? Oh, yeah, we did have an in-depth discussion about this before. No, okay, but... Just to quickly end it, I think it's not it's not even about the like about in because the, they're obviously bad actors, obviously. It's always like, oh, I need you to do my homework. Can you just blow me real quick? <laughs> like that's normally what it is. It, but they're just not very good actors, obviously. But it's the scenes themselves. You know, when you get down to the nitty gritty, I just think they're better, better produced. That's all. That's all. Then better produced than what? Then just. Like, I don't know, normal stuff. Normal TV movies? Like, I just think that... Yeah. I mean, okay, producing from, like, a, like a producer standpoint, they're obviously not. But, like, I just think that the scenes are hotter. I don't know. Hotter? Yeah, I just think that they're better. I think that the <laughs> women perform better. Yeah, I just like to see them. We can get off this topic. You, that I was mean, a long no, tangent. We like, we like to see... That's just porn. Step sibling like, porn. Don't judge me. I'm not judging. No, no. Like seriously, you've never met the person before. I've if never met you're attracted them. to them. To me, to me, they're just two it's like, people. Like no, no, no. Like okay, this, the movie Step Brothers. Yeah. Will Ferrell. The other guy. Um, I know his name, but I can't think of it right now. Um, I don't know. Ron Jeremy. <laughs> nope. Uh. So what was I? I was talking about. Oh, the movie Step Brothers. So yeah, like they, literally, they meet then. Like and I'm then thirty five. Yeah, and so like like if that was if they were gay together, that which is, they basically are on that movie. I mean, I mean like I they kind of are. Yeah, but sure, we can we can hop off this topic. Just I mean, like, it doesn't like really matter. Sisters hopping off. Okay, so you know, uh, what, what made you bring about? that up? Like what? Uh, That's a good. We were talking about something, and then you were just like stepsister porn. That's for the record. Uh, we should specify we are we are actually we said this last week we're related. Through marriage. Yes. But we've never fucked. Technically. 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 Yeah. You know that one time we got a little tipsy. And... Nope. Okay, moving on. You're um, not going to get this out of me. So, we were talking about soccer. We should talk about FC Cincinnati because... They let's, had talk, a... let's, let's talk about the coach. Oh, yeah. So, you talk about the controversy. Yeah. Yeah, well... That was the second point of... Okay. Okay. <clears throat> What the hell? What the fuck? I mean, okay, so if you don't know, FC Cincinnati is the top tier, the MLS club from the city in which we are both from, right? Cincinnati, Ohio. Old Arm. Let me squeeze right by you there. Yeah, FC Cincinnati. Yeah. Um, The name normally gives it away. Yeah, usually, typically. Coach just uh, resigned. There was, there's been about a week long investigation. Quote unquote resigned. I mean, pretty much. We'll get. We'll we'll talk about it. There's been about a week long investigation into uh, an allegation that he had made a, a, a racist themed remark. He he apparently he said the n word in while singing a song yeah. that the players were playing in the locker room. Yeah. Now that's obviously alleged, but what right. has been going on makes it seem pretty true. Um. So. <clears throat> Upon further investigation from the MLS, the MLS Players Association, the club hierarchy, like the president, CEO, general manager, 
uh, sporting director, whatever, etc. from the club's investigation as well, they found that this was not just an isolated incident and that, in fact, it was more of like a theme that was being noted uh, yeah. multiple times. Like, it, it was a couple of times that some questions were raised yeah, okay. like, about what was going on. The And the only defense... Because if you're going into this discussion cold and you just, like, listen to what we said, he's a bad dude, obviously. Right. And I'm not making an excuse for him. Right. But he is, like, straight out of the Netherlands. Yeah. And does not understand, like, that, that the could, culture here. Right. And, I mean, I've seen multiple people bring that up. Right. But, I get it. Like, I, look, okay. Being that he's been, he hasn't been the coach. I don't even think for a full year. Um, he took over mid year last year from Alan Koch. Yep. Oh, Alan Koch. Technically, it was um, from Johan Dame, who's who was the interim head coach when Alan Koch left before they found Ron Jans. Um, and also, Johan is now the interim head coach again. Hey, uh, is he really? Yeah. Yeah, it's the same Jesus guy again. Jesus Christ. Um. So. <laughs> He, when he started, when Ron Jan started, he had a clear vision, a clear path for the club and what he wanted, the players that he wanted to sign. Uh, and he was a very, uh, he almost seemed a little extroverted, where Alan Koch seemed a little more introverted. Ron Jans was, was a little more extroverted. He seemed, he seemed more open with the press, friendly, et cetera, et cetera. He was a jovial racist. Let's say it that way. <laughs> he was such a, yeah, he was a jovial. So, like, everything from just what was presented to the supporters seemed all good, you know, I, I was a fan of him, and I wanted to I wanted to see the club give him time. I liked his name. So if I not this whole year. Stick. Yeah, he's got a good name. It's that typical Holland name. Ron Jans. Yeah. Um, but I wanted to at least see him get through this year, ideally, uh, and trying to put his plan for the club in place. Obviously, that has been shot. FC Cincinnati well, have now had two head coaches in the past two years. and Three head coaches in four years, I think. Is it some, It's something like that. Maybe three five to five, years? three or five, or four or five years, yeah. Um, and the club, while realistically is not in shambles, they're already starting preseason, and the regular season starts in less than two, or less than three weeks for sure. I think it's within two today weeks Today was now. the final preseason game. Yeah, they're in IMG right now. So And today is February 21st. To date the podcast, thank you, Andrew. Yeah, <laughs> probably should have done that maybe earlier. Should we have, though? I don't know. Who fucking cares? It doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, so... That's not the direction that... It doesn't It doesn't shine good on the club. That, it, it looks very bad that yeah. they've had so many head coaches and we, and we just Now, got I will say, when, when... Yeah, well, it's a good thing we're not in a promotion relegation system because we would have been relegated last year and probably going to get relegated again this year. Yeah. Now, and... In defense of the club, they just signed. It's this is we'll, we'll swing it positive. We'll go positive. Yeah. Um, they just signed a true number ten. I think actually their first one that they've signed in MLS. Tm De Young. Uh, Addy or whatever. He was, he's Eddie. a number nine. He's a striker. Oh yeah, number nine. Yeah. This guy's a winger. This guy is a number ten. So like a, a creative player, uh, attacking mean, midfielder. Defense. Attacking okay, attacking midfielder. Creative yeah, he's yeah, a yeah. number ten. Yeah. Um. Yeah, C.M. De Young from Ajax. He was a one-time Dutch Cup winner, two-time Dutch Super Cup winner, uh, I, uh, Ajax captain twice. He was on Ajax, and his last name is De Young. He won four he Eredivisie perfect. titles. Yeah, so basically we have Frankie De Young yeah. from Barcelona like, on our team. Yeah, if you just look at it from his the back of his jersey, yeah. You'll never know. Frankie De Young. Exactly. And um. so... See, but the thing is, is that we keep, and I I understand because isn't like our like the GM isn't he Dutch? Yep. As well. Yep. The firing That's... of the Dutch coach doesn't look great. He wasn't fired. He resigned though. He was and fired. in his in his press conference when he was resigning, he said he was going to get fired the next day. Well, it, it doesn't matter because he said, look, whether or not I am found to be guilty, whether or not I would be fired after the whatever, he said whether or not whatever happens. It is going to be easier for the club to move on whether – or, like, I need to move on because that will make it easier. That is what's best for the club. That will make it easier on the club going yes. forward because 
the allegations alone he recognized were were you know damning yeah and atrocious and and did, he did the respectful thing and he resigned which i can respect uh regardless of what happened you know there there can still be some acknowledgement that he he probably shouldn't have said and done what he had said and done yeah, but at the same time respect the man for recognizing his mistake and and paying the consequence for it yeah um yes yeah, sorry i'm just on uh so, so here's here's something we'll we'll switch it a little bit. Soccer at times can be very controversial, especially in the world's game. Uh, it can it can tear you down, but at the end of the day, it always brings you back up. You know what I saw this week, Andrew? Uh, a very yeah, good yeah. moment from the Arsenal Gunners, the team uh, when oh, this, uh, the the ball, mascot ball man, the mascot that yes. he literally all the other mascots ran off the the pitch after the photo with the. Or after the uh, uh, national the anthem kid or whatever, just has kid, or something. He, was, he was just he just turned around and all his friends were gone, and then he was like, "Oh, what what happens now?" Yeah. And the Arsenal, the Arsenal uh, team, being classy that they are, uh, just pulled the kid in for the team photo before the match, and it was a nice a nice yeah. moment. And back to FC Cincinnati tied their final preseason game. Okay. Three to three. Three against... to three. I'm looking at the other team's Twitter. Mm-hmm. It only has 2,200 followers. Who? Which, what team was it? You read that. It's all in a different language. Oh, it's Reykjavik. It's yeah. Like... Reykjavik. Reykjavik. What the f- where are they from? Um, Reykjavik is in Iceland. Germany, Iceland. Okay, well, we I believe. tied a shitty Iceland team. Okay, why Why you gotta hate... Dude, Iceland literally made the Euro... Was it the Euro World Cup? Or I both? They didn't make the World Cup. That was in like 2014. No, it was so. the Euro. It was the Euro then. When? Yeah. yeah. Or was it? The, was it? I don't remember. It doesn't matter. They don't have a lot of people. Okay. Don't hate on them. We need to. We need to make this more funny. What? This podcast. Why? We can have some serious moments, bro. No, we can't. Why not? No one wants to hear this shit. Why? I don't know. Yeah, you're just in a bad mood I because am you don't know how mood. to say Reykjavik. I, how was I? How was I supposed to know how to say that? What do you mean? It was like spelled like K R, like U Y something. That was did you see? Nice. Did you see the the letter that the ten year old Manchester United fan sent to Jurgen Klopp yeah. asking Liverpool to lose? Yeah, <laughs> and I enjoyed that. Did you see the letter that Klopp wrote back? Yeah, <laughs> that's a dude. So if you don't know, um, Liverpool Manchester United are rivals in the Premier League. Liverpool is clearly ahead of the rest of the pack this year in the table. But uh, they just lost, they lost Champions League. They lost in the Champions League one 0 to Atletico Madrid. Uh, so no that's shots gonna be tough for the first time. At least all season in a long time. Yeah. yeah. Um. So that was a tough day for them. However, this little Liverpool, uh, this little Manchester United fan wrote Liverpool asking them to lose uh, the Premier League basically, and Jurgen Klopp, their manager, German fella. Wrote back to the player, uh, and he just, you know, he's. Let me just preface this by saying it is biased because I love Jurgen Klopp. However, I like Jurgen Klopp, but I hate Liverpool. Liverpool is like the Warriors. Uh, their fans are annoying. Liverpool, the club, okay. isn't. Their fans are annoying. Anyone who wins like this is annoying, except for I like the Warriors. The, the Premier League race is not fun. Not this year. The, the race for fifth is more fun. True, and that's we sad. talked about that last week. However, we no. What about the year that Leicester won? What about the year that Sergio Aguero scored? I'm saying that this this year is just dumb. Oh yeah, it's it's impressive to watch, but it is yeah. not exciting. No. It is not thrilling. No. So yeah, uh, Jurgen Klopp wrote to the thing and he said, "Thank you. It's always great to hear from a young guy, young football fan." Um, unfortunately, I can't just lose because I'm the coach of the team that you're asking to lose, and I would disappoint millions of people around the world. Luckily, yeah, um, we've lost games in the past. We have lost. We will lose games in the future. Um, that's just how soccer goal goes. Um, and in my 52 years, I can tell you honestly that I know that, basically. He's only 52? Yeah. Shit. Um, he said, having read your letter, I think there's one thing that won't change, and that's your passion for Manchester United as a club, and they are lucky to have you. Uh, I hope that uh, we can, you know, 
win some more games and lift some trophies and you won't be disappointed because even though our clubs are great rivals, there is still a great respect that is shared for one another. Um, and that's what football is all about. Corny. Corny, but classy. Corny ass. Classy. Again. What a what a genuine, be- wonderful man. Right after he's getting shit on for losing his first game. <laughs> first in, game in, in the first ever. league. Well, he, they lost to Napoli, I think, in the group stage once. Oh, for, yeah, but that was for, like months ago, wasn't I it? I know, yeah, it was a long time ago, but... Dude, they're so response. good. Atletico Madrid played a fantastic performance. Yeah. I, Goes back to Anfield, though, so we'll see what happens on the return leg. You know what happened last year at Anfield? 4-0. Corner taken quickly. So let's move on to a different topic. We don't <laughs> want to talk about, I don't want to talk about Barcelona losing in the Champions League. Yes. To Liverpool on a t- just... Dude, uh, this league alert for Barcelona, uh, the Barcelona admin, uh, uh, allegedly using a third party to, to like, I you said censor. I I saw the, like just to smear their name. Yeah, was, so both both how, took place. How can you smear Leo Messi's credibility and his and, wife and like, and Jared Piquet? And other people. I don't understand. So basically what is what we've witnessed. It's all alleged, first of all. It's not alleged. It's not? No. <laughs> yeah. It's why, not. why has he not left yet? It's messy. Uh, well, because like, it's oh, never been this bad here. before. This is where I'm, you know this he is just where went on an interview this past week and said he was comf- happy where he was. Yeah. Barcelona was his home. Exactly. I don't think that's true. I think he did that to save face for the club. He does. I don't think it's true. I think he's unhappy. He's the best player in the world. He does not need to save face. I know he doesn't. However, he is classy, and he like he'll leave classy. the club on good terms. Too classy. Can you be too classy? Yes. Okay. All right. Then that's. I I'd, I'd rather him like be outspoken. I mean, he was. I, that's why <laughs> I understand. I understand the other, like the reason that he's so good and people love him. I mean, it's because he's that good, right. but also because of the way he does shit, right? By just like not talking, right? And you know, dickhead on the field, right? Dickhead as in like bad ass, yeah. Um, but I don't know, man. Dude, look, I'm I, not even that. I'm not even that plugged in to everything. And yeah, I he. If you ask me, he doesn't seem happy. You can see it with his performances on the field. He's well, not he nearly also, as inspired as he used to be. Um, I I do think uh, I don't want him to leave, but I think it would be good for him to leave. I think. Listen, Messi has enough money. Obviously, I think if he hired a, a sniper, what? Just take out Bartomeu. What? I I would not be mad. Or knife two hundred to the head. I th- I think he wouldn't mind that. Um, Messi wouldn't. Bartomeu and the board need to step down. They have breached and stooped to the lowest of the low of levels of administrations of clubs to the point where they they lashed out at Pep Guardiola and Manchester <laughs> City for uh, the Champions League ban. Um, John Laporta, the former president of Barcelona, who got the club from very poor to the height at which it reached in its peak in the years between 2007 to 2015, whatever, for that span. Um, And he lashed out. The club is in turmoil. Yes. So Bartomeu, the the president, said... uh, The only reason that they're even still competing is because of Messi. Yeah, for sure. He's been covering up the symptoms for years. 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 Now... Um, and we, we actually haven't discussed this yet. Um, I'm excited to see your genuine your t- oh, take yes. on, on this topic. We just mentioned the Manchester City ban with Barcelona, whatever. Uh, whatever. Yeah. Um, Bartomeu said that he was happy about the Manchester City ban because of a bunch of nonsense, basically, like, they deserve it, yada, yada, yada. Pep Guardiola was asked about that in a press conference, and Pep said, um, this is paraphrasing, and it was something along the lines of, basically, it is not always one party involved in these things. Uh, like, sometimes other th- people and other things are involved. And, uh, like, the president from Barcelona should 
fuck off, basically. Like, basically insinuating that Barcelona are... Have cheated. Scum. Have done an Astros, and... Okay, that's... <laughs> bro, we don't want to even go No, okay, you know, the thing is, the Astros, like, actually cheated. Yeah. Nothing really happened. They no. fired their coach. Sick. But, yeah. like... They did, Man Nothing City, happened to them. Man City, like, just spent more money than they were supposed to or something. I don't know. Financial fair play. They probably that's they probably got that oil money. No, that's not. And then, and they get Champions League banned. Yeah. And then that's what you said. What Pep Guardiola said. I mean, a lot of clubs, I'm sure, have. have oh yeah. Did you see? Did you see? I, ju- I actually just saw this today. PSG's owner, PSG, was in trouble for a bribe. Probably. With FIFA, like they were, FIFA was uh, slapping them on the wrist for a bribe. Like and he or... bribed FIFA to, like, he literally no shit. bribed them to just be like, nah. FIFA, FIFA's corrupt. We know. UEFA. Gianni Infantino. Yeah. FIFA, is the, UEFA. Is the president. Sepp Blatter is the president that... Yes. That was fucked up everything. Yeah, okay, I'm sure it's been fucked up. Well, okay, but, yeah. I don't know. But it's, yeah, so, you know, that's where... Funny. It'd be funny it, when the whoever the fuck what it, what's his name not Pep Guardiola the other dude oh Bartomeu if if he said that and then like Barcelona gets hit with something dude and then everyone leaves because yeah. then Messi has to leave yeah he can't like I think something has to happen like that for him to go you think you don't think he'll leave now you think he's gonna stay no he should not stay I would uh, I'm trying I'm back and forth I, 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 so I was thinking about this. What if Messi, instead of being on Barcelona this whole time, if he got uh, picked by Real Madrid instead, which which have a competent board? Not that they have a competent board. It's that Florentino Perez runs Spain. Okay. But just imagine. But I mean, yeah, because Messi's already been successful. Yeah. But like. Even yeah. But like someone who probably would be able to build a team around him. I mean, you're looking at Cristiano Ronaldo, then. If Messi was on there, Ronaldo wouldn't be on the team. Sure. Which I'm fine. I was. I mean, yeah, I took that into account. But like, just someone who could put pieces together. Yeah. And coach Zidane. Not a good coach. You say that, dude. But he won three right Champions now? League. I still think there was some black magic involved in that. Okay. I feel like we've been talking about soccer too long. Want to move on? We this can go. Is, this is a category. Video games podcast. So? We talked... I mean, we brought up <laughs> we FIFA. Talked. FIFA was our segue into soccer. Sure. It always is, actually. Because I think it actually is. Um, so, just quick... I, since I'm a NASCAR fan, I want to bring this up. Uh, Ryan Newman. So, the Daytona 500 this past weekend. Ryan Newman, last lap, just got... Just, just wrecked. I mean, he was wrecked. He, he wrecked. Flipped over. Should car on fire. Should be dead. That's... Okay, due to the technology that is involved in the sport now, he's still alive. Yeah, you know, yeah, I, I see that now. That right, like that was in a critical condition in the hospital. Released three days later, walking, holding his son's hands. That's yeah, nuts. Less than three days, honestly. Yeah, I think it was. I just I I want to go uppers like wild. It's nuts. That's that's nuts. Um. So I. I mean, good for him. I yeah, I, I, I just I can't comprehend really. I don't I don't like NASCAR. So I know, like I, know. I didn't watch the race, but I just saw the wreck yesterday, and I didn't, that was so fucked. But again, it is what it is. He's all good. And he's good. He, the shitty thing was, is he was in first place. The motherfucker behind him just zoop doop. Got him off. That's what she said. But cut him off. I like got him biting. Off. Okay, yep, there it is. There it is. Now we're back. Yep. But uh, no. So like, I don't. I, You'd eat, not I'm, a not a NASCAR guy. No matter what, that was racing. Robin's racing. No, that's, racing is kind of dumb. Yeah, it's fine. They drive in circles. Sometimes. At high speeds, in which usually people almost die. That's not true. What the hell just happened? He didn't die. I said he almost died. 
Oh, okay. I thought you said they always die. No, he always no. dies. Yeah. Um, okay, so <clears throat> you want to move on to like our our general topic at the end? Let's do it. Let's do it. Talk, just I, talk about life. Just catch you know, up. Just you know, riff. I'm, I'm feeling tired, and I feel bad because I don't feel funny. It's all, dude, it's, it's I, fine. I, I mean, because, you know, I'm, we, I'm fucking... We put a lot of work in, like, before listen. recording today, so, like, it's fine. Yeah. We can keep... We listen. can just roll you guys it. just all want to, like, donate to my Venmo... Oh, my like, God. Just, that you know, that give, would make him feel a lot better, and it might shut know. him up. Seriously, just give me back at my feet. I don't know. I'm just feeling down today. Dude, I was up too late yesterday. I'm fucking I was fucking too. stupid. Big but, stuff coming for the Kyle Mac brand. Yeah, in the, uh, in the pod. The and pod. a pod, yeah. And the, you know, two peas in a pod. Why didn't we name it that? Because, no. <laughs> um, so, what's up, Andrew? What's up with your life? What's today? My so, life? Yeah, today's, today's the February 21st. What's, what's the world like in Andrew's brain? The world's brain? like, um, well, shitty. Oh, no. I mean, Tell me more. Okay, so, real talk. Real talk. Real talk. We're just gonna get serious. We're gonna get dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. Get dun, dun. Serious. I am a person. Okay. And yeah. Oh, you know, dude. Yes. There's nothing more serious than being a person. Seriously, nothing more serious than being a person. Yeah. Do you want to hear what's going on in the brain of in the world in the brain of Kyle? You know, you Matt? yeah, you start and then I'll gather my thoughts. What, you you want to gather thoughts? Go, you, I don't have thoughts. Yeah, I know. I mean, just just basically, spew, spew so bullshit. so. here's how my brain works. How was Indiana? Okay, so that we can start there if you want. I was in Indianapolis. That, because you went there right after our first podcast. Yes, literally after recording, I left. Yeah. Uh, Some of the grind mode for podcasts. Always. And then edited while there. Yeah. And then came back. How are my, how are my spikes looking, by the way? Fine. You're, you're looking good. I know I am. All right. Go ahead. Always looking good. Yeah. Um, it was a, so that was our... Uh, I went to go see... Girl. Woman. Woman. A woman. A woman. One woman. Mistress. The, Mistress. One, the woman. Uh, and so that was our, our Valentine's Day celebration, as we talked about last week on the I podcast. Forgot. Yeah. I forgot that, yeah, last week was Valentine's Day. Yeah. Um, I did so nothing. I think I played Xbox. We took a... I took my suit with me and like a, a nice dress-up <laughs> shirt and a tie. Fun. We got all dressed up. She got in a dress. Uh, and we... I uh, was going to make some steaks. She, we got some potatoes. We made some roasted red potatoes so or something like that. Up to make Broccoli, food at her house. glass of wine. Yeah, we did. We got dressed up to make food at her house. Interesting. It's okay. really good. I mean, yeah. like so for real though. I asked her uh, a week before we had I had gone there. I was like, so the grill, like you know how to work your grill, right? She's like, oh, we've never used it, but I'm sure it's fine. Like we can figure it out. I was like, does it have propane? She was like, oh yeah, I'm sure. It's yeah. 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 You don't need propane. No, she, she, yeah. Uh, I got there, started, went, to, went to start the grill. No propane. No shit. Yeah. So I just threw them in a the skillet. I, so here's what I did. I let them, like, marinate, I guess. Salt. Welcome to the cooking hour. <laughs> Salt, pepper, and rosemary. That was it. I, I obviously glazed the pan a little bit with some butter. Oh, yeah. Glazed that pan. Glaze that pan. Thirty minutes of, of a little bit of glazing, and oh, yeah. uh, dude, honestly, those are some of the best steaks I think I've ever had. Like for honestly, just in a skillet with your man glazing. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, glazing is good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. But it was it was a very lovely evening, uh, and I oh, it probably was. Oh yeah, actually, it, it was really good. Yeah. Um. Nice. So that was uh last weekend. I had a I had um. Like I said, I've been editing a lot, so I haven't been streaming as much because I've had a lot of content that I've been trying to edit and put out. Yeah, because we're cooking up in the stew. So. Always cooking up in the stew. Um, so I just realized that stew could also be like a stew that you eat. Yeah. S T E W. Yeah. Like cooking up some stew. Right. Or cooking up in the stew. We are the the, the objects in the stew that are yeah. being cooked. I mean. Nope. I mean, I'm cooking up these fucking bars. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um. Off topic. I'm coming out with a rap album uh, here in the next couple. Mixtape. Yeah, mixtape. Mm-hmm. Yes. That, sorry, I was, that was very white of me to say. Right. Um, yes, I'm coming out with a mixtape. With a rap. Album. I am coming out with a rap disog- discography. Dis- oh. Discography. 
Oh, that's disc- the word. That's the link that you can click on in Spotify to see yes, all the rest of the artist's stuff. I am coming out with a rap, uh, like an urban mixtape. Okay. Uh, so coming here soon, so be on the lookout. Okay. Lit- Litimus Maximus. Okay. Litimus Maximus. So, are you done? Are, are you off this? Um, was that your, yeah. Was that your I think that's... So, like, I, I mean, my world's pretty much just been... Girl and this. Yeah. Uh, soccer, too. I mean, I've been really busy with soccer, as, as always. Yeah. Um, but that's just kind of like on the slow burner right now with, I've got a couple courses coming up here in the future, somewhat, cooking um, up. cooking up, but so that's, there's not a whole lot new in, in the world of my soccer at the moment. Okay. Yeah. That's I mean, cool. I mean, really nothing's new in my world, honestly. I didn't, we never really talked about our lives that much last one. Last week. Yeah. We, we can go. I mean, we talked about maybe going a little bit deeper. I mean, yeah. Today, See, a little I bit. I said, I said that I mean, because last week we just explained what the podcast was. Which I mean, it's probably not going to be that anyway. We're, we just say shit anyway all yeah. the time. Yeah. And I mean, obviously, we. we I, this feels like a little more serious because we have this new technology. Yeah, it does. All the new tech. I, well, I feel out of place. It, yes, and also keep in mind, like. I wouldn't feel like bad about the the tone because that's gonna be that's gonna shift with moods a little bit. However, yeah. we also like we for real have been here for been here four and a half while. hours now. Yeah, five hours. Uh, yeah, yeah we for just a while. Fucking doing this. Yeah, because like we actually had to set up a lot of stuff and talk. You know, uh, not Dude, we didn't even talk. really get a game plan. Shit, chat. No, we didn't. Shit. We didn't do much. We were literally talking about if we could make our big jump that we're trying to, you know, we big jump. Are, are cooking up in the stew. Stew. Um, and then we talked about, you know, the feedback that we uh, received from the last episode, yeah. which feel free to leave more. On, yeah. Always and, leave feedback. That's you know, fine. You know, I was thinking we we said like leave a comment. Where the fuck do people leave comments on a on a podcast no that's what i thought about that's that too but that's why it depends email in there my gmail yeah and it depends on where uh they find out about the podcast from Probably from us right but if they find out from twitter they can go oh, back yeah, to twitter and then comment or if they find out yeah. my twitter handle is in the bio yeah it's like schmidt andrew there were, we there were ways to access just, just not directly in the platform that they were listening yeah. from if you if just you know what just tweet at me if you think the episode sucks, just tweet at me. I want to hear it. I don't care if it's constructive or not. I just want to hear it all. And tweet at me if you think it's great. Yes, exactly. That way we, there can, we, tell, <laughs> that way we can tell how we're doing. Because, listen, I don't, I'm not supposed to tell you guys, but got a little advertisement at the end of this app. So, listen. All right, that's it. That was my secret. Um... But, but so my point with with this tangent was like oh, yeah. we put a lot of work in like about. before the recording today. So like while energy was up at the beginning, we were kind of buzzing, excited, putting you know once we started getting to work and stuff like that. I mean it still stayed like we're still energetic and awake and ready to go, and it's we're still enthusiastic about being here. It is hot in my room. I'm sorry, it's literally the hottest room in the house. I can't control that. Um, but like it's it's I don't it's not even become a drug. It's like just. I can't. It's hard for me to explain at the moment. I know. Okay, so you know what I mean, though. Yeah, no, I know. I know. Like that's so that's why you feel like you're not as funny or whatever. Like it's just it's part of. Listen, okay, again, I even I said that we were gonna get real talk, and then we never really we haven't yet. But and I think knowing that this is like been on the way ish, like sets a tone as well. You know what I mean? That what is what what that that like the end is is on the way. The end is near. I mean, we're. 49 minutes in. Shit. Okay. I know. Let's yeah. say. That's, so, so that, yeah, yeah. So, we, I brought this idea up. We agreed. Uh, each, like, every, we're going to try to do every podcast if we forget, you know, whatever. If it's not as long as we want. But, like, you know, we're going to save, you know, the last 10, maybe 5 to 15 minutes of every podcast. We're just going to do Catch up. life updates. Talk about life. And listen, we know that, like, our views and our lives are like not more important than anything else. Honestly, this is more just for us to like get shit off our chest and just like talk about shit. 
talk about our lives, personalities, and uh, just kind of get to know. We already know each other pretty well, I'd say. Yeah, you just know, a little maybe, bit. Maybe just for you guys, you know, for us to get, you know, maybe a Give little, a little context. And yeah, like yeah. I said last week, it's for me in the Kyle Mack brand, it's more about documentation. So, like, if I'm having a, a rough Friday, maybe that comes out a little bit in the podcast. If yeah. I'm having a, a buzzing Friday, like today, buzzing Friday, buzzing, uh, then maybe it's a it's a little bit more up tempo, high yeah. energy. It, and and we talked about that, and we decided that that was probably going to be somewhat the case yeah. going into it. However, I just want to say my Friday has been great. I've slept maybe, not bragging, because usually I sleep a lot. <laughs> Like eight hours usually. I think I've had a total of a lot of sleep recently. I the last know. couple of nights I've been up late just cooking in the stew as we oh, said. Yeah. Well, I've been I just like play Xbox and I'm dumb. <laughs> like I'll play Xbox until like twelve thirty, and I'll get off, and then I'm like, you can't just go to bed right away because I get a brain still like going. Right. From, you know, from me, like, clapping dudes mm-hmm. in whatever game I play. Any game, really. Right. So then I just can't go to bed, and then I go to bed at, like, 2. Uh-huh. And I'm fucked. So, but... I have a decent... I'm, I'm somewhat able... Sometimes not. It depends on the situation. Honestly, when I'm, like, with Alyssa, it's very hard for me to just go straight to sleep. Well, yeah. <laughs> no shit. That wasn't supposed to be anything implied. Like it's just that my brain is thinking about other things. When I'm by myself, though, I do like Your it's brain almost like, is thinking about what gets you horny. No, my brain is thinking about like what's on the TV or what's um, like uh, why is it so hot? Why is she what you know whatever? Why is she wrapped so close to me? Why, why is, she is she not wrapped so close to me? Whatever. So needy or not needy. Why is she so shitty? That's what I heard you say. Or awesome. But so like, yeah. what, and actually, I even mentioned this to her the other day. There's, the, I'm noticing a flip, a little bit. Like it's getting easier as time goes on. It's, it's still a newer thing. Yeah. Um, but definitely, if I'm like here in the stew working, I can I can flip that switch a little bit and just go from awake working to then oh it's time to turn off now. Yeah. A I little knew, bit. I used to be better at that. I just think I'm not sleeping bit. that great. So. Dang, dude. Whatever. Sleep I don't know. sucks. No one needs it. But nah. So um. So, my original point was personally, I have been affected by like anxiety and depression like the past couple years. Mm-hmm. And like whatever, like that's I'm not. We've, yep, we've talked about that. Yeah, it. like we've talked about that. Yep. I don't care to like admit it. Like, it it probably, like, a few years ago would have been. Oh, harder for you to bring up? Just, yeah, just, like, Mm -hmm. because people, like, were like, oh. People just didn't care. It was a topic that was harder to broach. Yeah, because people, first of all, people, like, society itself didn't really understand. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I didn't. Dude, I didn't, like, when I, like, started actually taking the fucking serious, I was like, dude, I've been, like, living like this for, like, a long time, and I'm just noticing now, mm-hmm. but, like, as, as it relates to, like, the podcast and stuff, like, that, like, when I, sometimes it's, like, hard for me to get out of, right? you know, whatever. Get out of your routine of, you so, so, like, what you're kind of saying is you start to get in your own head, and then, well, yeah, like, like, once you get, head. right, but then once you, now. once you get in your head, own head really deep, like, it's hard for you to break that cycle and get out. Oh, yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. Then, like, you know, because, like, I mean, most of the time it's not great. Right. Obviously. And, like, I mean, sometimes, yeah. sometimes I, like, notice when I'm, like, having fun. Right. But, like, that doesn't happen that much. But, mm-hmm. again, that's why I'm, like, bringing it up and I'm talking openly about it because, like, that's really the only way that you can fucking... Address shit. it. Right. Yeah. And, like, that's... It's part harder of, to... That's it. part of the reason why I want to do this podcast. Like, obviously, I was helping him with the brand with with you know just kind of exploring Content. stuff yep. and also i wanted to like you know i'm i'm interested in you know media and you know finding out different stuff to learn right i don't know like i i know what you mean but we've talked also about it. we've talked about it mm-hmm. it's just you know it's this is just another avenue for me to talk and like 
to, to uh, therapy ish. Like, yeah, I mean, and yes. for lack of a better yeah. word, it's another avenue Talk of therapy. Talk to a microphone, or to your buddy. Okay, I'm, you're here. Just fuck you. Yeah. yeah, but you'll hear that too. Yeah, yeah. you probably already you know you already heard me say that to all of you guys. No. Fuck you. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Uh, and and I think that's really important. Um, and honestly, like. Not to get too deep, but we already are. We're, we've already gotten deep. This is this has been a more serious episode. Yeah, which is. It, I'll try to throw in some jokes. Kind of new, man, but fuck depression. You know, fuck it, man. You know what? <laughs> but I'm gonna let's do. I'm gonna do a battle rap about depression right, right. now. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little. Uh, Dude, he's getting psyched up. I'm yeah, gonna do a little it. freestyle in here. All right, give all me right. a beat. Give me a hit, hit me with a beat. Andrew, what do you expect? <laughs> mm, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, I'm cooking up in the stew. Me and you. Me and you. Talking in the stew. Uh, Me and you. It's lettuce and mac. It's lettuce and mac. We back. Coming back. We back in the stew. This is the worst part of the podcast. Uh, Man, man, some days you just wake up tired. Some days you just wake up sad and tired. Ain't no one, ain't no one here to, to help you out. It's all about you. Listen, I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. Do you, do you want to know what that reminded me of? I literally just sat there kind of like thinking you, in my you own head. You didn't give me a goddamn beat. And I, didn't know, I didn't know what to say. Grant, it, dude, I'm not a beatboxer. What do you want? That's a lot of pressure. That's a lot of pressure to put on somebody. That's not that hard. I didn't know what kind of beat you wanted. Fast, hey, slow. Hey, hey, it's lettuce on the beat. <laughs> Yo, so that actually reminded me of Michael Scott doing basically anything from the office <laughs> like i was literally just sitting there like hey, this is My happening like a scar and this i'm is here happening. to say something 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 in an amazing way <laughs> mm, mm, mm. okay jump to the right and you shake that hand and you jump to the left and you shake that hand let's what quick transition back into serious Yes. Being somebody that's known you pretty closely for a little while. Pretty closely. Just pretty closely. Um, you know, I like I'm I'm very happy for you to see that you are attacking burp. the negative and the depression. Yeah, burps are never fun. But the on it like for real, but in a real moment. Like this it's it makes me happy to see you reach and try and do things that make you happy or that you have had the self awareness to recognize yeah. that can help you lead to that road. And being somebody that's gone through that, maybe not to the extent that you have, or or maybe even more on I don't know, but to the to the length or whatever, you know, not to compare two people, because that's not what you want to do. But being somebody that has shared some of these wonderful experiences. Yes. Wonderful experiences. It's, you know, to see that you that you are reaching a point where you're fighting is is it make, it's, it makes me yeah. it makes me happy Man, it makes me happy that's my quarterback that's, that's <laughs> um no, yeah. no okay I, I I appreciate you saying that of course of course and of course yeah I mean really it's just like man I'm fucking tired like I'm yeah. just like tired of fucking tired of being tired. I'm tired of being tired. Tired of just like waking up not happy. And but like this, this is like super out of my comfort zone. Obviously, right. Anyone who is like going to listen to this or knows me at all, dude, yeah. I, I had I tweeted one time in the, in, in 2018 in two calendar years. One tweet in 2018. One tweet in 2019. Yep. It's a quiet couple of years. Um. And like, and wasn't one of those a retweet? Yep. Or it was a quote tweet. Quote tweet. It was okay. a video of Marcus Mariota. Yep. A shout out, Marcus Mariota. Yep. My fucking favorite mm-hmm. man yeah. on this earth. So, and and guys, we we get real with you for a couple of reasons. A couple of reasons. One is because this is we want this to be as authentic and genuine of a product as possible. A. A. I think I said one at the beginning and then A right there. So, <laughs> so one, we're gonna be authentic. B. Uh, B. Um, it, it's it helps us. You know, this is like we said. This is two dudes talking to a microphone, but this is also two very, very close friends who who yeah, let's take two care about each off. other and and want each other to succeed. At least I want Andrew to see to, yeah. to see success. If he doesn't want, I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't yeah. want me to see success ever at all. He's actually, I already know he's planning to cut me out of this. I mean, yeah. Once we start getting that money, 
But Listen. and then and then and then what's and then four. Okay, yeah, and then fourth. Um, I was gonna say, what's another way to say three that's not three or a, or I, C? I I I I I I Roman numeral I I I. Um, it's like you said, it's it can be a form of therapy, and and if you want to, if you have oh stories God, is off. that you want to share about stuff that you struggle with, or if you want us to go a little bit more in depth on things that that we've. Um, experienced or experiences that we've had that we have come through or even anything else that's why we're going to be tagging our twitters instagrams anything hell yeah basically uh hell and we'll yeah. also throw in an email that you can email if that's your preferred form of communication uh if you're 47 and uh drop us drop us a note seriously because while we don't have the answers this is a form of us going through documenting and uh writing the not writing but like i said documenting the different ways that people um attack tough subjects or um want to bring out other tough subjects or right, even yeah. not tough subjects like gaming yeah whatever yeah like literally i took my fucking twitter off private but people can just dm me randomly if you're a woman you can dm me only a woman though oh um, eh. What about if men can DM me dick pics, women can just say hi? Okay. I, I think that's fair. Yeah. And I've never gotten a dick pic before. Girls, actually, you know what? When girls, I, send him dick pics. Sure. When you get one from a young, an unsolicited, when you get an unsolicited dick pic from a guy, just send it to me. I want to see how it feels, and then I can be more empathetic to your guy. Do you think you they like situation. unsolicited dick pics? Huh? Huh? What? What? I've never sent one. I haven't either. Honestly. I'm ashamed of my dick. <laughs> I mean, are you? Is yeah. that, are we are we still on the real part? Or are we on well, the, no, I mean, this is this is the, the it's okay. more funny. Right. I'm ashamed of my dick. I mean, I think all guys are. I mean, ashamed of their own dick. I have had sex. I think they're all you brag about it. I, mean, <laughs> I think that I think the guys. Listen, I have had sex. Are yeah. guys ashamed of all dicks? No, that's not so, true because okay, people I, draw dicks all the time. Yeah, no, but I think guys, like guys. I think it's like a weird paradigm or like paradox because uh -huh. guys really only want to look at their own dick. But right, like, but we're still they, ashamed of it. Yeah, no, if they see eh, their dick in like a third person kind of thing, it's like disgusting. Except Have when you, you seen your dick in the third person Like thing? if you take a picture of your dick, I feel like oh, people that's, are not like that. that provides that context. Okay. Yeah, so like if you see... I've it, never taken a picture no, of it. No, I've never... <laughs> with, I, don't, I, don't, I have no idea. I have, I have no context to help this out at all. One of the... One of the girls that I hooked up with, who I used to work with, no one who I work with is going to listen to this, but doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Yeah, we're you know we're genuine. We're real podcast. We are. Uh, but yeah, she like I didn't. She it was me and her in the picture. And we were both naked. So but then I just deleted it because it was weird. Uh oh, you took a? Did you take yes. it or did she? I took it. What I angle did you? Was it like a high angle or a low I mean, angle? I mean, like, you know, you know, I don't need to get. You can see some. Here. You can see some bits. Oh, I mean, my dick was right there. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I but, just... like, she was, like, next to me. So, like, she was also naked. Okay. Brag about it. I mean, yeah, I mean, I have had sex. So. <laughs> Are we just going to keep that going? I mean. Okay. Listen, um, listen, all because I'm a podcaster does not mean I'm a virgin. Okay? <laughs> I just want to remind you guys, I have had sex. Oh, man. That, is that three or four times? We should keep an I've had sex count. Yeah. We should add that. That's uh, somehow. Maybe we'll just put it in every description. The uh, amount of yeah. times that Andrew has said that he has had sex. Any guys out there? Um, I, I've had sex with your mom. That's a little weird, isn't it? No. Okay, we talked about sex sex or hookups. Yes, male it hookups. could be weirder. I'm just saying, I have. Dude, I fucked your mom, bro. All right. To everyone who's listening. Okay. To the seven people who are going to listen to this. Right. Yeah. Um, I think that was my mom? I said everyone listening. You're, we're in this. So. Okay. That's, I, I could, I, it was a hard thought to get yeah, out of my no, head. Yeah, no, no, no. I was yeah, worried. No, I was yeah, worried. Not your mom. Don't worry. Okay, good. I we respect your mom. Okay, good. Yeah. Good, good. Thank you. Yes. I love also, you, mom. if I know your mom, it was very respectful. <laughs> 
<laughs> if I don't know your mom, or I don't know you. All right. Can, can I, you, you don't you kiss and tell. That. You, you don't kiss that. and tell. Right? Well, you just did to everyone's yeah, mom. Yeah, I didn't say specifics. Okay, fair. Dude, my tummy hurts. I'm hungry. You want to get out of here? Uh, soon. Soon? It's fucking hot. It's hot, and I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm hot. I know. Yeah. That's why we've had sex. Yeah, yeah. So I'm taking the dick pic right now. <laughs> oh my God. His dick's literally yeah, out. So it's just flopped on the desk. Yeah, yeah. So if you guys want to go on my Twitter, you'll actually see one right there. And then you can send it back to me. Okay. Wow. That was... Oh, yeah. This got off the rails very quickly. Dude, you're the one that started talking about we need dick to, We need to... We, so, before we end it, we need to... We do need to... Oh, let's do some improv, actually. Okay. What does that mean? We're just going to do something funny, okay? Okay. We're let's do improv here. Obi-Wan Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker. That's not... <laughs> <laughs> That's not improv. What? Actually, you know what? Let's do. Like, Why uh, do you let's, want? Let's let's do Anakin and Obi Wan the last scene, but not the lines. We're just gonna make our own lines. Okay. Okay. We're so, gonna be Annie, 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 Anakin. Annie, we're gonna be Annie and Annie, Annie and Obi Wan. Annie and Obi. Annie and Obi. Okay. Uh, and, and you said we're making up our own lines. Improv. All right. Okay. Uh, I'm right. Obi Wan. So obviously, because ready break. Okay. So who? So we are Anakin Skywalker and Obi Wan Kenobi. Where okay. are we, Mustafar? Okay. What scene is this? Um, the, fight the one with the Padme. End. The one right. Okay. Choke Padme. Okay. Just... Ah. Okay. You know, choking Padme. I would. She's actually pregnant, so I'm not gonna say it. Okay. Because like, I So should I, I start? Should I start? Oh. So am I or are you? You can go. Anakin. Why are you choking? You know what? Go on. Go on. It's fine. Go on. She's it's kind fine. of a bitch. She, she, she does not support my dreams. She doesn't support your dreams. I started with a British accent, but I'm going to switch. She doesn't I mean, support your dreams. Why not? She, what a bitch. Listen, dude. I got this sick new gig. Okay. I got this sick new gig with yeah. the Emperor. Okay, uh-huh. dude. Me and him, we The Emperor? Type. Wait, we have an Emperor? Oh, yeah. I'll fill you in. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah dude. Me and, me and this dude, we got a sick connection, bro. Uh-huh. So, like... Like sexually or like I mean, just as a as listen, a friendship. He's kind of old, but oh, do I know him? It's like kind of a quid pro quo kind of thing. Do I know him? Yeah, you do. Um, oh. so what's his name? Don't worry about it. Okay. Well, his name is fucking Darth Sidious now. Oh, he's a Darth, Darth Lord. Dude, that's the guy I'm trying to fight. Eventually. Okay. But yeah, no, no. Me and him, we, I, mean, I will fight him with this sick new deal. Like and he, I will kill him. he's like, he's the ruler of the free world now. Oh. But like I'm his well, number is, two. Is it a free world if he's free? If if well, he's the ruler? But it's not free anymore. He's the ruler of the free world. So that you, so, so he's the ruler of the galaxy. Anakin, I think your Padawan learning ability has slowed because well, that doesn't I'm make sense. Fucking sick your bitch. senses are not quite attuned as my own. This is going nowhere. I don't know why you wanted to do that. You can't just fine. throw two people who've never done improv into an improv I, scene. I thought I thought I could think of something, but my brain is just not working properly. Yeah, we've had a long day. And that's why I think we should leave. All right, guys. So I think uh, I think we're gonna get out of here um, because we're hungry and it's hot. I'm fucking hungry and my brain is just not working properly. That's what happens. It's um, okay. My tummy hurts. So, uh, basically, we've talked a lot about how you can reach us, and we've talked about some real stuff today. Um, dude, I actually th- I think I tore my ACL. I totally forgot to mention that. We can talk about that next week. Yeah, we can talk about that later. Yeah. Um, I was sleeping when that happened. Okay. We can talk about it next yeah, week. We'll talk about that next week. Yeah. Um, basically, uh, due to this, I mean, I know we started with, like, step-sibling porn, and then went <laughs> straight. I honestly almost forgot we talked about we, that. I, I, we went straight into real stuff. Um, Very big switch. I don't know. At the, at the flow, yeah. And and maybe this episode didn't flow uh, like the first episode. Maybe that. Who knows? Who cares? Realistically, the reason that we're doing this is to be authentic, genuine. And yep. if you want to reach out with us, reach out to us, sure. uh, with us for anything regarding that or, you know, for any reason, feel free to do that. Um, I feel like Twitter would be a good platform for that. <clears throat> sure. DM. Kyle Mac ten nineteen is my Twitter handle. Um, reach out. What's uh, mine again? Schmidt, Andrew. I don't team? know your Twitter handle. Um, that being said, I would, st- I would still be remiss if I 
did not plug everything else that I've got going on. Because while real stuff still happens, life is still going on for me, for Andrew. Um, and, and the best way to keep life going on is to do the best you can to focus on those positive, those outlets, like this is for Andrew and I, um, and, uh, what keeps me going, not what keeps me going solely. However, um, what I allow myself to focus on and, and really grind out is content is this stuff. Um, so file Mac 10, 19 on Twitch, realistically, uh, yes. And this, I was actually excited to start this. So Kyle Mac 1019 on Twitch, daily yeah. streams, usually. Hasn't been so as recently because I've been grinding on the edits and the stew. But um, Kyle Mac 1019 on YouTube and on Instagram and on TikTok and on Byte and on Twitter. Everywhere that you can find someone, I am found. Because I am not lost. I am he who is the sun and found. But You're not on Craigslist, I bet. I actually you do have an account. People on Craigslist. I do have an account on Craigslist. I don't know that it's the same username though. I, I, we don't need to talk about Craigslist though. Okay. But if you do want to reach out, seriously, for anyone, Twitter. That's a good one. Twitter. Comic ten nineteen. Did you find yours yet? I did actually. Uh, my Twitter. Uh, it's. I'm just gonna spell it out. Is it just you. call me Drew? No, it was. That's okay. my. I think that's my Twitch name actually. Oh okay. But I don't really Twitch that much, so don't worry about it. Uh, Schmidt S C H M I D T Andrew. Uh, 15. That's the uh, Twitter. I think Instagram is Schmidt under Andrew underscore Schmidt 20. Yep. Um, I don't really care. Send him a me. send him a Twitter thing, like a tweet at him or DM him if you didn't like the episode. Tweet at me or DM yes. me if you did like the episode. Yes. Um. And yeah. So again, we know that this one might have dragged. wasn't wasn't as funny. wasn't as upbeat. But again, been authentic. We, uh, uh, yeah, it's still, it's, it's not that it wasn't as, because everybody's humor is different. Yeah. Everybody's humor, we had some, we had some moments where we were upbeat and lively, funny, whatever okay. you want to say. It was a good one. We, we, I am happy that it had a little bit of a more serious tone, regardless if we were productive with that well, tone or not. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. This was an important step, I think, for you, for me, I just, I and for, around. for like the, you, you know, the the brand of lettuce and mac lettuce and mac and for kyle mac because realistically he's the alpha okay all right well um if you haven't already uh, you can go ahead and follow subscribe download the podcast still being uh, approved for new platforms every day yeah uh we are yet we should be on apple apple podcast soon soon um but i mean most of you probably listen on spotify um thank you Yes, thank you. We'll see you next week. Uh, and yes, see you. Um, see you um, when the sun goes down and when I dream. I dream of you. I'm just gonna say thanks for listening, and and we really enjoy what we're doing, and we really think that we could continue to do this and have fun. Yes, love you. Love you. Fuck you. Bye. Fuck love you me. too. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you.